forte do que quando eu... Once more, it looks like presidents may see Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva running to regain his former job as president. This door was opened after one Supreme Court Justice, Edson Fachin, annulled the criminal convictions that had taken away his right to participate in elections, arguing that the court that judged him lacked the proper jurisdiction. And on Tuesday, Supreme Court justices convened for another action that could impact Lula's political aspirations, a vote on whether Judge Sergio Moro, who sentenced Lula for corruption related to the major car wash corruption probe, acted impartially during the process. A vote against the judge would effectively throw out the cases against Lula. Justice Gilmar Mendes called for the vote and sided against the judge and in favor of Lula da Silva. O combate à corrupção tem que ser feito dentro dos moldes legais. Fighting corruption must happen within the law, observing the legal process. You cannot fight crime with crime. However, a final decision was delayed because one of the justices, Cássio Nunes Marques, widely regarded as the critical swing vote that could make the case go one way or the other, asked for more time to look into it. Even if Lula da Silva loses this ruling, his possible candidacy would still be guaranteed by Monday's decision. The former president called a press conference for Wednesday morning in which he is widely expected to confirm his intention to launch a 2022 campaign. There is little doubt that former President Lula da Silva remains a key player in Brazilian politics, but another presidential victory is far from certain. Lula da Silva and his leftist workers' party are still very popular, particularly among the country's poorest communities, but they also face strong opposition, notably within Brazil's middle and upper classes. Nevertheless, Lula is seen as a strong potential challenger to President Bolsonaro in 2022. Bolsonaro was quick to criticize a possible Lula candidacy, pointing to the Supreme Court decision's impact on financial markets. The Workers' Party had a catastrophic administration in government. I think the Brazilian people don't even want a candidate like that in 2022, much less to think about his possible election. You can see that the stock market went down and the dollar went sky high. We all suffered with this decision. The question to be answered for 2022 is which candidate will have the highest rejection and will have more capacity to take the votes of those who dislike their opponent. In other words, who of those who reject Lula would vote for Bolsonaro, even not liking him? And those who reject Bolsonaro, who would vote for Lula? That's the question. The decisions favoring Lula could still be reversed, either on appeal or by rejection by the full Supreme Court. But right now, Lula da Silva seems to be preparing an unlikely and dramatic comeback. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.